Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a cloach hat. I could have showed you from bottom to top using peg doubling, but I find that's kind of difficult and can become a real pain. So I'm going to show you a simpler way that doesn't require you keep up with what stitches on top and what stitches on bottom. Okay. So you're basically going to start off with a basic beanie and you're going to ear up cast on, do over many rows, do the double decrease drawstring cast off. Okay. And this should give you a basic beanie. Now what we're going to be doing is if you've done a 10 stitch blanket, this is going to kind of work like that. Okay. And what we're going to be doing is you're going to be putting on that first cast on. We're going to be adding these cast on loops back, okay? And so we're going to put that first one on there like that. Okay. Then you're going to ear up five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then you're going to ear up back five. And toss the loops over. Okay. Because this is going to be the negative side and the bottom is going to be the positive, you want to make sure that your negative sides are going to line up. So you're going to be working around this way. Okay. Now that we've gotten set up on our um, brim area, what we're going to be doing, and yes, you'll see that I've already done it, it's going to be a repeating pattern. And the reason why I'm doing it in this way, in this particular stitching, and it's a six row repeat, okay, and you're doing basically two rows between each um, cast on loop you're bringing up. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to bring up your cast on loop, your next one, which is right here. Okay, and you're going to purl, e-wrap, purl, e-wrap, purl. And that's row one. Then you're going to e-wrap that last peg, purl, e-wrap, purl, e-wrap. That's your second row. Then you're going to purl. E-wrap, purl, e-wrap, and purl. And that's your third row. Now you're going to bring up the next cast on loop, which is right there. And then you're going to e-wrap. Pearl, e wrap, pearl, e wrap, and that's row four. Then you're going to go back, you're going to go pearl, e wrap, pearl, e wrap. Pearl. This is row five, and then you're going to work your way back. 
Arab Pearl Arab Pearl Arab Now I'm going to show you this again You're going to bring the next cast on loop up and on the peg Again, you're going to, this is back to row one, so here's pearl, earwrap, pearl, earwrap, pearl, row one, earwrap, pearl, Earwrap, pearl, earwrap, row two, pearl, earwrap, pearl. Wrap pearl. This row three. Then you're going to bring your cast on loop back up like this. And then you're going to e wrap. beginning again where you bring your next cast on loop on and then go into the six rows and you're going to do that all the way around I'm going to do a little pulling and everything to stretch out those stitches and you can see that it's starting to put a really nice brim that splays out for the cloach hat And then I will show you how to, so go ahead and pause the video and complete that much and I'll show you how to close off the ends together and then that'll be it. That'll be how you make your cloach hat. Okay, we've finished our brim and we're down to no more cast on loops. And you're going to take your four because you won't be able to see your fifth and just put those back on the pegs okay and what you're going to do is you're going to you wrap the two you're going to toss both loops over then take Pull that one back, toss the bottom loop over, move that one back to there, you wrap the next peg, 
Move that back. Toss the bottom loop over. Tear up the next peg. Toss both loops over. Move to the previous. Toss the bottom loop over. Move over. One last time. Here up the next peg. Toss the bottom loop over. Move over. Wrap. And pull the ends through. 